Hi everyone, it's Giselle with a message for today and I want to talk about some channeled information I received as I was coming out of sleep this morning and I'm sure that, you know, a lot of planetary shifts have also affected everyone who is drawn to listening to this video and you may have felt or faced some setbacks or disappointments in your personal life and the strong message that came through to me was that we need to really elevate ourselves above this. But of course, it's very challenging. And what you may ask is like, but how, you know, how is this even possible? When I've been faced with utter disappointments or things just backfiring or just not showing up the way that I wanted them to, how am I supposed to stay in a good vibration or not... Um, pay attention to what's really going on don't I live in the 3d isn't this where you know the physical plane is where things are happening is this not where I'm supposed to be paying my attention to I don't understand and um, yeah I've had a lot of people uh, coming to me with questions or healing requests regarding very disappointing events in their life that have been coming up not just necessarily with their romantic life but with money with direction you know their sense of life purpose their sense of belonging feeling like their friends have suddenly turned on them or abandoned them in some way some of you have contacted your beloved and had a very disappointing um, response from them and a lot of these events just make people want to go do you know what I've had it I'm fed up I've done as much as I can do forget it, I'm going, I can't, I can't anymore. Which is understandable. And it happens to the best of us, you know. I definitely had moments like that, especially last year. They were truly awful. But as each year progresses, I have noticed that they're not as bad as the last. And that you do become stronger. And the one thing that I was shown... As I was trying to meditate, but I fell asleep again, which ugh, I shouldn't have meditated lying down. But I was pointing at my heart chakra in meditation and I could feel a glow still when I woke up. And I was like, oh, I'm still pointing at my heart chakra. But I felt there was a glow there, something that had been lifted. And the message that I heard them say to me is, don't close your heart. Even if you're disappointed, and this is the message I want to pass on to you because it's not just for me, I know it's applicable to many of us. If you've been disappointed, let down, feel that things have just not gone the way that you were hoping for, don't close your heart. Keep your heart open because things aren't stagnant unless you want them to be. You know, the world moves, the seasons change. It's just. If you remain stagnant and decide to, you know what, I'm going to close my heart, no one can get in. And that's what you're going to create around yourself as a wall. And yes, it's heartbreaking to have to keep opening your heart and reopening your heart when you felt defensive and hurt and disappointed and sad. But it's just one of those things. Keep your heart open. And it's okay to feel like you deserve better than what you've received. Of course it is. And it's okay to sometimes think, I need a break from this journey. That's okay. Have a break. People can't be expected to work 365 days of the year. You need a holiday. Take that holiday. It's okay. But come back with an open heart, or at least come back with the intention to reopen your heart or keep your heart open. Because it is going to help you. Having a closed off heart is not good for anybody. You know, you may think you're protected in your little wall um, building that you've built around your heart. But just as you can't let any love out, you won't be able to let any love in. And I know it's difficult and very challenging, but this is what they wanted me to share. Keep your heart open. Don't let disappointment, sorrow, heartache 
close you off from potentially what could be the most beautiful thing in your life. Because look at it this way. What if things did change tomorrow or even today? What if this person who disappointed you came to that conclusion and thought, oh, do you know what? I was not in the right frame of mind and I did disappoint them. I'm, I'm actually sorry about that. What if they express that to you? And what if everything could be made better? You know, if you kept your heart closed, there wouldn't be these opportunities. But if you keep your heart open, at least you're open to the possibility. And I shared this with a client. Um, this is a trick that I've used a couple of times now on my journey. She doesn't know whether to continue on because she hasn't heard from her person. It's getting beyond ridiculous. She feels like giving up. And I've shared with her a trick that I used. And it helped me to move on from the person who wasn't the one. And it also helped me to get confirmation from the person who is the one. What I would do in those circumstances is write a letter to the universe. So universe, if this is not the one person that I'm meant to be with, then at least let me find the person who I'm meant to be with. Or if they are the person I'm meant to be with, at least let them come back to me, but in the way that is more harmonious to what I am wanting to build in my life. And be willing to let them go. It's all too tempting to want to keep that butterfly in your jar. Because you love it and you don't want to release it into the world. What if it never came back? But that's not the way that you should treat love. So lift up your jar, let it fly out, and if it comes back to you, then you know. Because that's what happened to me the second time around. Yes, the first time I let it fly out and it never came back, which is all too well because now I realize that person and me were just not a good match. But I did it the second time because I was again a bit stuck with my person. I let them fly out of the jar, but guess what? Two months later, they came back out of their own I didn't have to make them do anything. They came back. So I have an example where it went both ways, you know, and it can go one of two ways. But unless you're willing to take that chance, you won't know. And also be open in the process. You could think, oh, I'm lifting up my jaw, letting the butterfly fly out, but now I'm going to close my heart because I don't want to get hurt again. Keep your heart open. Keep your heart open with love. Because if you close your heart as well to other people, you're going to close it to yourself. You won't be able to give yourself that self-love that you need to grow and heal. Don't close your heart. Keep it open. I hope that this message helps you. If you'd like to connect with me, all my details are in the description. And I thank you all so very much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.